bronze medal game. The first medalist will be determined here at this event ever as Japan takes on the United States. Well, first half and the third end after a wreck allows an opportunity. Guard really wasn't in play out front for Corey Dropkin. An unforced error and now Yanagisawa chance to draw for two to tie this game up. And they'll come right down to their own, no problem. Get right into the forefoot. There's two for Japan. But right back, a good response by Team USA. Able to set up for their two. Trade shots back and forth, maintain separation. Draw, center of the rings. Score their second deuce. Skip loves those ones, just draw into the rings. Lots of room for that extra point, and no problem there for Team USA. And then the fifth end is where trouble. Some mistakes by Team USA. Miss hits, left the opening, a great hit and roll. Yanagisa on his first. Now as a dr draw, tap to make sure they can bring those other ones into play and score four. Okay, okay. Nice shot. Yay. Played that quiet oh, wait perfectly, and Japan strikes for the big end in the fifth. They have the lead halfway through this bronze medal game. Well, sixth then coming out of the break after the Japan just getting a four score. And Riku Yanagasiwa trying to play this double. Maybe overthrows it a little bit. Gets it out, and will get nothing. No contact. Slides right by. And a tough one, not making any noise, meaning the open draw for a fourth point for Team USA and Corey Dropkin. Mine's good. Good ad, pretty good. Good ad. Looking to bounce back with a draw for four of their own after they just gave up four. No problem for the American skip to the forefoot. Officially dumb territory. Yeah. And skip ahead to the seventh end and. It was back and forth, and a miss by Corey Dropkin allows an opening opportunity at two right now. With this one, you draw down to the forefoot, pick up two more, tie the game up. But a little extra weight, hangs out, doesn't take the curl, and chips rolls off, and it's only a single point for Japan. And then 10. Didn't quite execute Japan their last couple stones, meaning it was that come around to the back. Green, and now Corey green, Dropkin green. has a lot of room past that guard to make the hit and roll out. Didn't need to stick around, and it'll be an 8-7 win for the bronze medal for Team USA. Corey Dropkin and his side, just one loss in round robin, but bounced back from a loss in the semifinal to win the bronze. Now Corey Dropkin. The Team USA, bronze medalist, how do you feel right now? Uh, lots of different emotions right now. It's, uh, you know, happy to be here, happy to pull out that game. Um, it was a bit of a, of a crazy, wild back and forth game, but uh, we're just glad to be on the, on the, on the positive side of, of the finish. And what did you say to each other at the fifth end? You lost the four, had your break, and then came back and took a four. Yeah, crazy, crazy turn of events there. Uh, honestly, just trying to stay focused on the next end. And we had, had tons of opportunities, and we were getting great setups going uh, each of the ends. And, and so really just trying to reset, uh, refocus, and, and uh, build on uh, you know, those, those first four ends that we had put together. And it's the first ever Pan Continental Curling Championships. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, yeah, these championships are awesome. I'm, I'm happy to see them um, kind of uh, uh, bring together all these different countries, and, and it's pretty cool. They've done a great job hosting here in Calgary, and uh, we're, we're happy to bring home some, some hardware for the U.S. Well, many congratulations on your bronze medal. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone back home, for watching. Oh. <laughs> Get back on it. Oh, 